The voice announcement set allows the user to map Motorola pre-recorded voice files to operation items, configure the voice announcement parameters, and load the voice file from CPS 2.0 into the radio. The recorded content is played when the user triggers the relevant operation item or a certain operation occurs, such as a channel announcement during the radio power-up. First of all, open a code plug or read a device. Once the configuration is loaded, open General Folder and then Voice Announcement Set. File List contains all the audio files which you can assign to different triggers. To add a file, click the Add button. Now you can see all available audio files that you can add to your file list. If you want to add more audio files, add them to the Voice Announcement folder located in your CPS 2.0 installation folder, and they will appear on the list. Select the audio files you want to use and click OK. If you want to delete a file from your file list, click on it and then on the Delete button. Once you have some files on the file list, you can assign them to specific triggers. Scroll down to Voice Announcement File Selection. Here you can see a list of events. If you click on the editable field next to it, you will be presented with a list of audio files you can assign to it. You can also use the Set Voice Files option, which automatically configures a voice file to each parameter under File Selection that is set to None if the file name of the voice file matches the parameter name. You can also clear all voice file selections by clicking on the Clear Voice Files button.